Hi, this is Bruce Gow from CarolCAD. In this next lesson, we're going to look at creating shadow studies. Shadow studies are required by all local authorities in Australia as part of the DA process. Usually the shadow studies are required for the dates of March the 21st, June the 21st and December the 21st at 9am, 12pm and 3pm. Sometimes they also ask for shadows on the 21st of September. There's an example of a shadow study. Okay, so let's get into it. So here we have a building we want to create the shadows for. First thing I'm going to do is turn the shadows on. Now when shadows are generating in Revit, it slows the whole process down because we're actually using raster shadows. But anyway, there's our shadows. Now let's go into the advanced model graphics settings and we can see that we've got the brightness of the sun set at 50% in this case and the shadows are set for 40%. So obviously you can change those settings as you wish. And in some cases you may also want to add a silhouette style although I'm not adding it in this case because it'll actually throw up the paving into a different uh, style. So the first thing I want to do is go to the uh, settings. So you can see I've got the place set here. I've got it set for Brisbane. And I want to set the uh, particular study here for a particular date. So I'm going to set the date for the 21st of March to start with. So I just pick that particular date and I'm going to pick the time of 9am. Now having done that, I'm going to duplicate my settings here and enter the name of the setting as March 21, 9am. So then I've provided that setting. So having done that, I simply click OK and OK again. Next thing I want to do is to change the name of this view on my project browser. So I'm just going to rename it as Shadow March 21, 9am. So once I've got that particular view, obviously I can place it onto a sheet. I've got the scale set up already. So there we go. Now to make the next view, the next view is going to be 12am. What I need to do is to duplicate this view. And then go to the duplicate and rename it with a particular setting, which is still March 21, but in this case, 12 noon. And then I need to go to my advanced model graphics and I need to change the time to 12 p.m. I then need to set the view to 12 p.m. for that and go OK. And there's my view. Same thing, I'm going to place that view onto my sheet. 12 noon, place that there. So basically I just continue in that manner. I'll just do the final one just to give you the, the idea. So copy or duplicate. Go to the copy, rename. So this particular one is going to be 3 p.m. Then go to Advanced Model Graphics and duplicate again and call this one 3 p.m. and then just set the time to the correct time. OK, all of that. And there we go, then drop that particular view onto the sheet again. So it's a very quick process once you've got the, the hang of it. So where's my 3 p.m.? That one. So I'm just going to drop that down here as well. So you can see that you can very quickly produce a sheet of shadow studies 
using that method there really isn't much to it. So I hope that's been some help to you and thank you for your time and look forward to getting together with you again. Thank you.